Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. We're going to scale on my crafting a little bit and let's talk about this. So I'm going to lube a few cases up here. All right, uh, everyone is up here in the comments and I've banned probably 100 people already. Uh, mainly because I just don't put up the trolling uh, nonsense, any of that stuff in my comments. That's just reality. Deal with it. I run a filter. Certain people think that um, I delete a lot of comments. I really don't. I really don't. I have filters that handle it for me. Not that hard. And if someone finds a loophole through the filter, I just adjust the filter. Uh, it's just not that difficult. So, that being said, Alpha Destiny uh, jumped up, made a response video, and here's the thing. The reason I've been mad at Alpha Destiny uh, is actually, I guess, slightly wrong. I thought all this time, I've been pissed at him because I thought he was a young lifter who had some potential, was starting to get the right idea of training, was coming over, listening to what a lot of, a lot of what I was saying. I then started his own thing, and then I found out later he went crazy, stupid marketing uh, with bullshit nonsense that's going to get people hurt, uh, that makes training out into something it's not again just showmanship showmanship and marketing instead of sticking with the tried and true methods like he makes fun of conventional training conventional training makes world champions all right conventional training is conventional because it works that's reality but this whole idea that you have to be different or do something different or new or flashy in order to make amazing progress or be the best i don't like that sort of stuff it's nonsense uh, it's marketing. That's all that sort of thing is. I don't like it. I don't care for it. I don't think it has a place in the fitness world. Uh, and the fact that he was marketing, charging money for off-the-wall stuff instead of just sticking with the basics that we know works. Uh, clearly, clearly went and hopped on a little bit of gear, low doses of gear to blow his traps up and made magical claims about things blowing traps up and stuff that's not real. That's not reality. Um, and so, yeah, I went in a little hard in him. I also started going a little harder on him when I found out the reality that he threw in uh, with the people who've been stalking me, people who've been stalking my loved ones, people who obsess over me on a crazy, insane level. Okay, no matter how crazy you guys think I am, and some of you may think I'm crazy, and you know what, that's okay. I am a little bit crazy. I don't deny that. Not like I'm in denial of the fact. So what? What's wrong with being a little bit crazy? A little bit crazy is fine when you're not harming anybody, you know? A little bit crazy is fine when you're not harming anybody, but he threw in with people who he knows are harming my loved ones, uh, who are literally obsessed insane stalkers. Uh, because again, you know, there's different levels of crazy. I'm here, I'm crazy right here, right? People who make videos about someone like me just because they're a YouTuber and they obsess over a YouTuber or it doesn't matter, it could be someone on television, it could be someone on the news, someone in a commercial who does commercials. Uh, any public figure, to obsess over them to the point to where you literally make a video about them seven days a week, 30 days a month, 365 days a year, and obsess over crazy psychotic stuff about them, that makes you way insane up here. That's crazy, all right? That is insane. People are like, well, why don't you allow anyone to talk about any of these people? Yeah, I have all their channel names in my filters, all these crazy people. Why? Because they're insane. Uh, I don't address them or answer their questions because they're literally batshit insane. Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to feed these crazy ass people on any further by actually addressing them, talking about them specifically because that's what happens when you take crazy obsessed people like that if you acknowledge them as the the object of their fixation they become even more obsessed and they become dangerous they'll start killing your family members or trying to find your pets and kill them because people like that are that insane this isn't a new phenomenon uh, this is stuff that's been going on for a long time ever since television and movies first came out this sort of stuff started happening and yes obsessed stalkers there are reams of stalkers for plenty of people on YouTube. Uh, several YouTubers have been killed by their stalkers. Uh, there are cyber stalking groups that do that. And yeah, they oftentimes result in these people making physical attacks of the people. All right. These sort of people are insane. All right. It's insane. Uh, having forums dedicated to a person, which is sort of stuff he was talking about, is insane to where if you come onto a forum and you have more than a thousand posts 
about a public figure that you obsess over like you actually literally know anything about them, you are a shit nuts. You probably need to be institutionalized. If you're that obsessed with a public figure who, mind you, you've never met, you don't really know anything about them, you're insane. And if you came near that person and you, they knew you were one of those, they'd be justified in killing you in self-defense because you're insane. And you're a danger, you're a danger to their loved ones, their family, their pets, everything. If you're that obsessed over a person, you're insane and not worth addressing. Uh, if you spend six figures harassing someone out of your pocket, like Lane Norton, it's over six figures, he admitted spending over six figures harassing me because of something they said on the internet, um, you're probably a little bit insane too. You're probably insane. And then when you, that same person, you throw in with crazy cyber stalkers who harass and stalk that person's family, their loved ones, contact details, and, and spend hours even talking about their loved ones and family members. And again, they've never met. When you throw in with people like that, like Lane has done, you're insane. Alex, Alpha Destiny, that's what you did. You thrown in with people like this because I was critical of the bad methods you're promoting now. And they are bad. And you pointing out that insane, crazy people have absurd theories and ideas about me and who obsess over me, you throwing in with them and actually believing it tells me that you're not someone who went bad. You're someone who is fucking insane. All right, that's why I realize now, now that I've seen this, I understand why you don't understand what I'm saying. You don't understand that I'm telling you is telling you if you stop what you're doing, you can go back and promote proper training. You can keep growing. You can be safe. You can make progress. You can still help people and make a living doing this without selling bullshit and without getting yourself hurt. You don't understand that because apparently if you actually believe this stuff, you are as fucking crazy as these people are. You're fucking ape shit nuts. So you actually aren't capable of understanding the fact that what you're promoting is going to hurt people. It's not good that you're going to hurt yourself. Uh, and again, now I understand you are actually, again, insanity to the point where you're a danger to yourself and others. You are a danger to yourself. Your training methods are a danger to yourself. You are going to hurt yourself. And because apparently you actually believe this crazy stuff that you're talking about. You actually believe all this crazy stuff these obsessed people say about me online and talk about for hours and hours every single day. If you actually believe this stuff and you've bought into it, I understand now why you don't understand that you're going to hurt yourself with what you're doing because you're not altogether there. And that's okay. A lot of us, hey, I'm not 100% there. Let's be honest. I'm a little crazy. I admit that. I understand that though. There's a difference between knowing you're a little crazy and not knowing that you're crazy. And I think that's the problem here. You don't understand that you're actually crazy. Because if you believe this stuff, you're crazy. Uh, same thing with people who are like, when people show up talking about it and they want to act like they're my subscribers, I just ban them. Because the way I look at it, I don't need people that stupid or that crazy as subscribers anymore. I don't need them. I'm making a fine living right now. You know what? I make more than enough off of YouTube to survive, be comfortable, pay my bills. I don't need those crazy people who literally would believe the insane shit said about me. I don't need those people in my subscribers. I don't need them in my comments. If they unsubscribe and don't watch my videos because I ban them, there's nothing lost there. Because I'm here to help people, to entertain people. I'm not here to rip people off. I'm not here to con people. I'm not selling you guys programs. My programs are free. They're proven. They get results. Um, I'm not conning you guys. Like, I don't have anything for sale. I'll probably do merchandise eventually, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm not like, oh man, I'm hurting for money. I need to get merchandise. Not a big deal, guys. I'm not trying to con you guys or sell you anything. And that's the problem is that Alex has been, and he's promoting, he went away from the basics because he knows it's hard to sell the basics. He's selling flashy, gimmicky stuff. He avoids conventional training so that he doesn't have to show his actual strength compared to other people. Um, it's marketing. It's just clever marketing, and he's a young kid who's still learning about training. He has a long way to go. I thought he had potential at one time, but I realized he doesn't. He was either too stupid or too crazy to grasp it, and this kind of proves it. Um, if people are like, well, I don't need to address these crazy claims. This stuff 
is fucking insane. All of these claims and absurdities people obsess about over me on the internet, like people who literally do it every day, it's fucking insane. I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to understand where they're coming from, and I'm not crazy enough to feed into it and address any of it. Okay, because I'm at this level crazy right here. That's about three <laughs> levels above where I'm at. I'm not at that crazy enough level to even mess with it. Uh, clearly, Alex is... And I'm going to be quite frank. If anyone who watches any of this crazy stuff that people make about me, um, they honestly believe this stuff. They honestly believe this stuff. All I'm going to say is you should probably step back and assess your own life for a moment and go, whoa, I'm actually believing this insane stuff about a guy who gives workout advice uh, and hand-loading advice and discusses politics. Because i got a couple channels. I'm obsessing over this stuff about this guy and believing all these crazy rumors when he, he's really just kind of a normal guy who likes to talk, is passionate about his hobbies, helps people, and enjoys being on camera. Okay, that's what I am, guys. I'm an educator. I'm an entertainer. Uh, and if anyone feels the need to obsess over me because of that, uh, and they don't realize that they're crazy, yeah. And what I would say to Alex and all his fans, no matter what you think about any of this, these ad hominem attacks, the stuff that he's trying to bring up, because I only watched the first minute of his video. I stopped him and said, like, okay, I see, where he's, I see what he's part of. He's involved with all these people for sure now. Um, what does that have to do with you not getting hurt following his advice? What does that have to do with the fact of the matter is that he's giving dangerous bad advice? He's going to get people hurt. That's the point. And I had hoped at one time maybe he would understand that he would reel it in before he hurts himself. Uh, but clearly the case, he's sitting there saying, oh, I'm going to, my next goal, I'm going to do a 1,500-pound rack pull. Uh, that's it. He's going to fuck himself up. All right, he's, He is too crazy to understand that he actually doesn't know what he's doing. He's too crazy to understand that he is going to hurt himself and everyone who follows his advice eventually. And the fact that he buys into this insane shit. This insane shit tells me that he is probably just as crazy as all those obsessed people in these forums and who make these videos about me. Uh, I don't have words for it. Like, people think I actually watch all it. I don't. I quit watching those videos a long time ago. I watched a few, and I realized most of these people are too fucking insane to bother. And only really crazy people seem to get drawn into it. Um... And anyone else who's looking at it going, oh man, this is interesting. It's like, you might want to just step back and reassess your life at that point. That's all I'm saying, guys. I'm an educator and entertainer on YouTube. Uh, if you're that obsessed with me, you're obsessed with my family members and my loved ones or my girlfriend, um, damn. Damn.